right, we're here in Seoul, South Korea. Um, really excited for this vlog. We're gonna be checking out some really cool glove shops along with going to the uh, Padres versus Dodgers Seoul Series game at the Dome here. So this will be a really fun vlog. I really hope you guys enjoy. All right, walking into the store is very overwhelming. You can see there's a box full of beautiful Mizuno gloves that are very rare. We've got Wilson's on this side, but the whole back wall and whole side walls are filled with gloves. I eventually found my way over to the World Pegasus area. As you can see, the single post is really beautiful. But the reason this glove means a lot to me is because Ha Sung Kim uses it, the uh, shortstop for the Padres. It wasn't a glove company I really knew about before he started using their gloves. He's now with Rawlings, but I still have one of his pro shoes from when he used this uh, company, and I love it so much. These Adams gloves are another example of a very well-made Japanese glove. As you can see, they look really beautiful and this shop has a bunch of customs, which is really cool. But um, yeah, these gloves just look fantastic. I've owned them in the past and I love them. These GN gloves are absolutely ridiculous. You can see these colors are just wild. They seem to be a custom glove company, but they always caught my eye on the shelf. I thought this stamped crown was pretty cool. Um, you can see it's like that darker stamp that Rawlings used to use. It looks really good on leather colors like yellow right here. I think the MPB and KBO really excel in gear, like these elbow guards, they're pretty insane. The cleats are also really cool and the catcher's gear is something that we typically don't see in these styles uh, in the United States. So I wish we would take some notes, hopefully American companies catch on to that.
Alright, I ended up picking something up, so let's go back to the hotel and unbox this together. All right, so first we're gonna go through the glove. It's a really cool glove, very unique. All right, this is a Kang Studio. It's a beautiful Korean company's glove, really cool. You can see there's no lace in the heel pad, pretty similar to what they do in Japan. But um, look at the fish on this. I'll do some close-ups for you guys so you can see, but one of the things that attracted me to this glove was these really cool patches here, stamping here. It looks really cool, but look at the form on that already. Looking pretty good. This is kind of like a softer glove. So I want to give a shout out to Seung Hoon Chung, a uh, fellow glove lover like myself. He actually told me some information about this glove that I didn't know prior to buying it. But um, this is Jung Ho Kang's uh, glove company. I probably should have guessed that from Kang Studio and this glove being called, you know, Kang Studio all around with the K there. You can see Kang's professional glove studio, which is really cool, but he actually used this. I'll throw that photo up now, but Really big shout out to him for helping me understand where this glove came from because there's not a bunch of information about this glove online. But um, yeah, it seems to be sold out almost everywhere. But yeah, I'm very happy about this purchase now that it has a connection to Korea, which makes this purchase, you know, memorable for this trip. But yeah, very happy with this glove. All right, so besides this, I did get a couple other things. I got a really cool Zet sweater that I'll show you guys right now. Really cool, it's kind of like a, BP type of sweater. It's like a three-fourths cutoff, really soft. It's like wool, says Zet there. It's kind of like a hood, but it's the ones, uh, it's the type of sweater that you like roll into like almost like a turtleneck, but not really. But I'm really looking forward to wearing this. Um, I'm a big fan of this, very happy they have this there. I got a couple rally towels for the um, Heroes, which is a KBO team out here. Really cool towels. We're gonna open one up so you guys can see it. There we go. Pretty sweet. I've got quite a few of these from Japan, so I knew I wanted to at least get one so I could like hang it in my room. I could kind of have my own little corner of uh, stuff I got in Korea. So I got one with the number 14, I'll have to look up who that is, and then one that's number three. So I'm really excited about these. These are always really cool uh, to have. And then the last thing, I got a bunch of these really cool patches. Um, you can see this one's number three. This is also number three, but in that maroon color. And then also a number 29 which is really cool. But um, I got a bunch just so I can kind of hand out to my friends and hand out to people who I uh, told were coming, stuff like that. So I always like bringing extra stuff home so I can toss them out to my uh, buddies.
All right, I hope you enjoyed those clips from yesterday's game. Uh, it was a good game. Um, Dodgers came up on top after a big uh, Cronenworth. His glove actually broke on a ground ball. That would have been a double play. But um, yeah, on to game two today. Really excited for that. But um, before we head over to the stadium, I want to talk about these. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you definitely kind of know what these are. I've hinted at it a little bit, but um, this is my new job. And I work for Jack's Batting Gloves. You guys probably know them from their batting gloves. They hired me to do their fielding glove department. So I'm beyond excited. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about these, show you a couple other models I have with me. And I'm really excited for you guys to get these in your hands and check them out. A couple highlights I wanna go into about these gloves are, first of all, made in Japan, which is very valuable. I'll be posting a long explanation on Instagram, kind of explaining what these are, where they come from, etc. But I'll just run through some quick points now. Basically, like I said, these are all made in Japan. All the materials are locally sourced by our factory in Japan, which not many other glove companies can say. I'll roll some clips so you guys can get some up close views of these. But um, they're beautiful. They're perfect gloves. They feel great. The form is fantastic on all of these out of the box. I love these. There's nothing I've been more proud of in my experience in baseball gloves. These are all handmade by master craftsmen in Japan, like I said, but the attention to detail is what really sets these apart from any other glove on the market, which I think the stitching's absolutely perfect. The forms, like I said, are money on every single one of these gloves. I'm very proud of these. I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot of content going forward about these gloves, so you're gonna see a lot more of that. My Instagram will kind of form towards that content as well, but I'm just so happy that these are finally coming out. We should be releasing very soon, but um, definitely check out jacksbattinggloves.com. I'm really excited to get that rolling. All right, guys, time for game two. We're gonna be heading to the field pretty soon, so I'll see you guys out there. Hopefully you enjoyed this little vlog. Um, I'm excited to be back on YouTube and posting more. Uh, with my new job, I'm gonna be posting a lot more. So I'm really looking forward to that content. So be on the lookout for that and I'll see you guys in the next video.